All right, everybody, welcome to uh, the next installment of the uh, regrettable podcast of mine. Uh, I'm so, and uh, big news. The the only thing I'm going to talk about today is Anime Expo, and it's probably going to be pretty brief because I haven't planned anything out about what I'm going to say. I'm just going to speak from the heart, which apparently is a really desperate thing to do. I'll get that. I'll get to that in a minute. First of all, it was great. Anime Expo was great for the most part. I mean, I didn't do anything other than the last comic standing. I didn't see any panels. I didn't go to any shows. I didn't buy very much of anything. But it was still great. It was great because I know great people. That's why it was great. I had a great time with great people. And that's really all it boils down to. If you're relying on a convention to entertain you, you're doing half the work. You you need to have people to enjoy it with. And even the shittiest convention could be the best time if you've got the right people. And I had the right people. Um, That being said, I, to get straight to the point, I won the last comic standing. Finally. After so many years, I came in first place. After two improv sessions, you know, one normal one and then uh, another one, I walked away with it and right off the bat I gotta say thank you very much to everyone who appreciated it uh, a personal thank you to Andrew uh, to Brian Dr. Scientist a, a really big thank you to Gary um, the Mikado to Nick uh, and I've, I've had so much support these past five years, and I finally developed enough where I earned the win, despite what anyone says. I fucking earned it. Um, as far as I'm concerned, I earned this shit three years ago, but that's neither here nor there. No, I didn't earn it then. Obviously, I didn't earn it then because I didn't get it, but that being said, I- I'm really appreciative for that. Uh, the people that came up to me afterwards, that we got pictures, the woman, the, the girl who I signed an autograph for, which was really odd. But I, I'm very flattered. Thank you to the, to you guys. I didn't get your names, but you know mine. So maybe we'll see each other again, and I can get your names. I was so flustered after having one. I didn't know what to think. I didn't know how to act. So I didn't know what to say to people. There's a lot of things I wanted to say, and I'm saying them now. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, this one particular girl out there, I don't remember what her name was. I don't think she told me, but I saw her last year, and she said that she came to see me. And uh, she was wearing this costume, whatever. That was flattering last year, that someone actually came to see me, specifically. She came again this year, told me the same thing. She was wearing another costume. To you, thank you very much. Um, so many people that I have to thank that actually supported me. From, from my very first day at the LCS years ago when I was booed off stage, and you still liked me. Like There were like five people who liked me. Uh, Sam. Sam, if you're out there listening, thank you. You were there from the start. You supported me from the start, just like so many other people. Thank you. I'm very appreciative to have have had this opportunity and to make it to this point. And I'm still kind of shocked and stunned, but here we are. And um, on to other things. The show itself, so many people hated it. People hated the show because, oh, there's too much offensive racism and there's too much this, that. And maybe there was. And you know what? I'm a culprit too. When I was going over my material, making it, because I start as, I start making material for the LCS as soon as it ends. So I started last year putting, I, I, I went through multiple routines doing things over and over until I was satisfied with what I had. And I still fucked up. I did. I did fuck up. But I went with it and people liked it anyways. I didn't end with what I wanted to end because I just didn't. Um, I didn't do a lot of material that I had prepared because I just didn't. But you know, uh, I, I knew there. I knew my set had racism, but it wasn't racism for the sake of racism. It was racism to mock the idea of racism because it's stupid. It is stupid. Like my joke about uh, the Jews. You know, I wanted to end this joke. I, I had a joke. I wanted to end this joke with a 
Jewish impersonation, but I don't have a furnace. Okay, that's the first part of the joke. That's not the punchline. You know, so it seems offensive at first, but you got to give it a minute. And the, the other half is, you know, and then what? You know, uh, Jews like furnaces. How else could they destroy the evidence that linked them to 9-11? That's not so much racism as it is pointing out stupid ideas that you need to laugh at because they're so dumb. Like the idea that Jews were really behind 9-11 is completely stupid. It's dumb. It's completely dumb. And if you think that's offensive because of that, you're dumb. You know? <laughs> but, uh, you know, I had a lot of other jokes. Uh, it, I get a lot of support from people that I really appreciate. And um, I was reading on other boards. People, There were some people who didn't like what I said, but still were grateful that I finally won. And I appreciate that. I do. I really do appreciate that you still are happy to see me win because I've tried so many times, lost every single time, and you know I've come close and lost, but I keep trying and I made it, finally. But some of the complaints are really piss poor. Like someone complained that uh, in in my improv that I fell apart because I fell apart because uh, I said black people as a punchline. That wasn't a punchline. The punchline was how stupid that is. It's a dumb thing to say, and yet people say it. That's why I I said that to point it out. Now, when the material is online, it's the, it's, I think it's the second improv, and uh, I, I make a joke about the troll face, which is a dumb thing to make fun of to begin with, because who the fuck gives a fuck about memes? It's stupid. But uh, it was a troll face, and you know, fuck, fuck a troll face. I don't really know what that's supposed to be, so I made a joke. Oh, what is it, like a potato? You know, or, or a Korean? That's a joke. It's a dumb thing to say, which makes it funny. Uh, and then, and then, like, speaking of Koreans, black people, that's what I said. Yes, it's stupid. It's supposed to be stupid. That's what makes it funny. I'm pointing out how stupid racism is, and that's how I did it. And this, this, this fella apparently didn't get that. That, the fact that I said black people wasn't the joke. The fact that racism is used as a joke so easily is the joke. I'm mocking it. It's a it's a blend of sar being sardonic and sarcastic. It's heavily sarcastic. So, you know, th that was a dumb complaint, I thought. But I still appreciate the guy that said it, because I'm glad he said it. I'm glad he got it out there, so I could point it out and clear it up for him. And uh, no hard feelings. I'm not offended by the criticism. Um, I'm happy to get it, because now I can I can take it and use it to have a really great set next year when I when I'm judging because I'm going to and I'm going to have my set and I'm going to be fucking funny and you people are going to fucking enjoy it and if you don't then hate me so I can get better because I will that's how it works that's how you do it um, but another complaint I got was that I was desperate at the end this is, this is a callback to what I said in the beginning of this podcast. I was desperate at the end because I thanked everyone. Obviously, I was being desperate. Yeah, it's really desperate to tell people who like you that you appreciate that they like you. You know what? If you think that's being desperate, suck a turd out of my ass and go fuck yourself with it. Because that's what you need to do. You know, if you think it's being desperate to tell someone who likes you that you like them, then obviously your mother's dead and you didn't get enough hugs before she went, you know, and you can't hug your dad because every time you do, he blows you because he's a pedophile or some shit, you know, so obviously you don't know what it's like to be loved, so go fuck yourself with a turd that you sucked out of my ass. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's like, you fucking piss poor, how the fuck is it desperate to thank people for liking you? I was completely sincere that that was the first time that I ever had genuine emotion on stage. Most people see me as being hateful and all this stuff. And uh, that is a part of me, but it's also a part of my act. When I'm on stage expressing my hate, I don't, I'm not really f hateful at that moment. I'm doing my show. But when I'm telling you thank you, when I'm telling you I love you for supporting me, I'm being completely honest. I'm not trying to be desperate. I really meant that, and I still do. And if you, f if, if you fuckwit cunts out there think it's being desperate for me to tell people who like me that I appreciate it, then go fuck yourself, you know? 
suck a turd out of my ass, go fuck yourself with it, because that's what you need to do. You need to do it now. In fact, I haven't shit in about 12 hours. I got one ready if you want it. If you want it, uh, let me know. I'll mail it to you. I'll put it in a radioactive bin. You know, one of those one of those radioactive things that they can send through the mail. I'll put it in there so legally you can get it, and then you can fuck yourself with it. And record it so I can watch it, and people who support me on 4chan can mock your bitch ass for being the cunt that fucks yourself with my turd. Okay? Why don't you go do that? We can, we can all record it. We can enjoy it. We'll have a good time. We'll have a couple of drinks. You know, you know, because I drink with good people, like I did this year. I was really happy. I ha- I met a lot of good people. I saw a lot of good people that I've known for years. I was happy to see them. I'm, I'm going to be happy to see them next year, and I'm going to be happy to do the same shit that I've been doing. And if you don't like it, you know what you can do. That's right. Suck a dirt out of my ass and go fuck yourself with it. You're learning. That's fantastic. And, you know, the people hating on the show, listen, yeah, there were a lot of... I made a joke about that. I, I used comics in parentheses. I was kind of mocking the other people who were up there because first of all stop stop name dropping me you know I, I'm not that popular I'm not that important and and despite what you think nobody knows who the fuck I am so name dropping me is like bringing up uh, Homestuck to a Christian who doesn't like anime they're not gonna know what the fuck you're talking about so you're wasting your time secondly don't you know just, just don't do it but uh but my point right now is if you're going to these shows and you're angry about about how bad you think the comedians are, go fuck yourself. You know why? Because es- essentially you're going to an open audition. You're going to an open mic. And if you go to an open mic and get pissed that you didn't laugh, you're stupid. You are a dumb fuck. You are a dumb, stupid cunt. You know, it's like hiring an assassin who hasn't been trained and getting mad when he doesn't kill the person. You're dumb. You wasted your money. If you want to laugh, and you want you want to expect to be laughed at, to be laughing, pay for a professional, because you didn't pay for this shit. You paid for a badge, and you went into the event, which was free, and you got mad because you didn't laugh. Well, go fuck yourself. It's a, it's an open call. It's an open audition. None of us are professionals. The closest one to a professional right now is Fazio, because. He's left this little shit scene, and he's doing it for real. He, he's, he recently did something at the comedy store down in L.A. I think it's in West Hollywood. Go see him. He's fucking good. He's on his way to being a pro. Right now, so am I. I'm making the move to Philadelphia. I'm going to work the Philly scene. I'm going to work the Boston scene. I'm going to earn my stripes. I'm going to be the best that I can. And maybe one, one day I'll come back to the LCS and be a professional. And then you can hate me because I'm a professional, and I don't talk about faggy anime. All right? Why don't you do that? Why don't you wait for that? But if you're going to the LCS and you're angry because you didn't laugh enough, you're stupid. You wasted your time, rightfully so, and you didn't pay for it, so shut up. Now, I like Sean, the guy who I went up against, but somebody said he was a lot more prepared for the improv than I was. A, that's not true, and B, it is true. Here's why it's true. I didn't expect to win. I don't expect to win anymore. I don't give a fuck about winning. That's why I was so stunned that I did, and I'm slowly realizing how awesome it is to have won. But up until that point, I just wanted to do my show. I just wanted to make the people who come to see me laugh, and people who don't like me, who came anyways, you're not my audience. I'm not here for you. I'm sorry if I I wasted your time or bothered you, but, you know, I do this for my audience who show up every year. I'm doing it for them, and I'll keep doing it for them because I actually do love them, which, again, is a desperate thing to do. But fuck you, I love my people, and I'm gonna keep loving them. But uh, the people were saying uh, I wasn't prepared for the improv. Okay, maybe I wasn't, cause I didn't expect to win. I didn't expect. But once you get to the improv, no one's prepared for what you're, what you don't know is coming. If you're doing improv and you don't expect to do it, of course you're not gonna be prepared. You're not prepared to do improv because you don't know what you're doing. You improvise. All right, and if anyone thinks someone is going into an improv prepared, here's what they did: they used material that they already had and inserted the topic of the improv into it, which is an improv. It's adapting, and that's 
fine if you want to do that. I didn't do that. I chose to improvise, and I came up with what I came up with. Not all of it was racist, but when I used racist points, it was to mock racist jokes, because yeah, there's too much of it. It sucks. It gets old. If you, if you can't be funny doing it, don't do it. You know? But this whole shit, oh, he's, you're not prepared for the improv. Nobody's prepared for the improv. That's what makes it improv. You improvise. That's what I did. I did my best uh, at that point. I really didn't expect to get to that point. Uh, I was shocked that I did. I thought G was good. He was short. Um, I thought, I think his name is Chris. I'm really sorry if I forgot his name. But he was, uh, he had a lot of really awesome nerd humor. Good LARPing humor. He, he was one of the three guys that actually made me laugh. I liked him a lot because I got it. Because I'm a and d player. But you know what? Anime nerds aren't. At least not in that crowd. So fuck them. You know, they didn't get it. I thought Pierce was hilarious. Oh, but he had racist jokes. You know, why did the chicken cross the road? Black people. Oh, that's racist. Well, no, it isn't because it's fucking funny. That was a funny, funny joke. He is a funny dude. He's great in person. If you didn't like him, go to hell. But, uh, you know, maybe don't go to hell, but you need to learn to like him because he's a really funny guy. But you know what? It is what it is. You're going to bitch and moan about it. Don't go next year. We're not going to miss you. Okay? You didn't like the show. You think it sucked. Don't show up. You know? And here's the thing. It, I know none of you will probably do it because at least that's what you'll say after I point it out. But if, if you don't like a comic at the show, and then you go to one of his shows at a real show, and you know he's there, go to hell. Because at that point, you're just doing it to hate him. And don't do that. Nobody needs you. Nobody needs that. If you hate these shows, if you hate the LCS, don't show up. We won't miss you. All right? Uh, the, the guys running it are great guys. Nothing is rigged. I can tell you exactly what happened. Because I was there, and I, oh, 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 I've been there for five years. I know what goes on. Oh, exactly what happened. We were hauled into this little room, kept out of line of sight. No one knew we were there. They packed in the room for the people that went, went to show up. All the other comics were doing their stuff. They were practicing. It was quiet, and it, it was random. Being picked was random. You know why? Because we randomly lined ourselves up. We were told to line up, and we all got in line on our own. We happened to get in line in the spots that we were. So it was completely random, and it went down the line. That's exactly how it happened. If you think it was rigged, you're stupid. You are a dumb fuck. Now, I don't know if the audition itself is rigged. I'm sure it isn't. I don't know how it works, because I haven't judged. But I'm going to judge next year. And if it's rigged, I'll tell you. You can trust that I'll tell you, because I don't fucking lie. But you know what? I'm sure it isn't, because... Gary and Nick know that I'm not some fucking bitch cunt who's gonna lie once I make it through because I made it through. I'm judging. I'm going through to judge. I don't lie. They know it. So I'm gonna tell you ass cunts fucking dumb shits out there who think it's rigged to go fuck yourself. Maybe you're mad because your boy didn't win. Well, you know what? Go to hell. You're not your boy. Uh, Sean didn't win. Sure he deserved to win. He was great. So did I. So was I. You disagree? Too bad. You're fucking wrong. You're right for yourself, but you don't matter. Because everyone matters. Everyone matters together. And you're one of the handful that didn't. You didn't matter at that point, And you didn't win. Pe people are mad because my, my nickname was being, was being chanted. What? You can't chant your boy's name? You can't say Sean? It's one syllable. It's the same fucking thing. It even starts with an S. You couldn't have thought to do that yourself? Oh, right. Because you're stupid. Or maybe you're not, but you weren't smart at that point. Make the chant yourself. Go ahead and chant yourself. Do it shit too. Sean is a cool guy. He made me laugh. Sean made me laugh. Jack made me laugh. Pierce made me laugh. These motherfuckers were fucking funny. Sean came close to winning, but he didn't. He's probably going to come close next year, and he might do it. And you know what? I ain't got no fucking bias against him. I shook his hand because he's a fucking gentleman. And he may be new to performing, but he knows how to fucking do it. But apparently some of his bros are cunts and don't know how to be good audience members. Nothing was rigged. He deserved to be where he got. 
and so did I. And it ended the way it ended. Now, I wish Sean the best. I'm going to find him on Facebook. I'm going to friend him because I like the motherfucker. I like him a lot. I think he's cool. Jack. Jack deserved what he got. I think he should try again because, again, I fucking like that guy. And I think he's fucking funny. When I'm out in New York in the tri-state area doing my shows, I swear to God I hope to find him. Because I want to be on the same bill as him. Because I think he's funny. With that being said, you didn't like the show, then boo fucking who, you didn't spend any money to see it. You know? You should have went to the shitty masquerade and saw all your stupid friends in their dumbass costumes doing their stupid skits that are supposed to be funny, but never are. And then go complain about it on cosplay.com because everyone there is a bitch. Uh, but anyways, I had a great time, you know? You know, I did, I did, I had a great time. Uh, my confidence was a little shaken after seeing how many how many people hated me, but then realizing I thrive on the hate. It's made me angry and made me happy because now I have fuel. I have something to strive for. I I I, I have targets to make laugh. Everyone that hates me right now, I want to see them next year. I want them at my show so I can make them laugh and punish them with their own stupidity for not getting it. I want to turn these assholes into diehard fans. And they're probably, if you're hearing this now and you're one of those people, you're seeing me talk shit about you, great. But if I can make you laugh next year, suck it. You know? <laughs> Fucking suck it. Um, but for the, for the people that criticize me, um, that still thought I deserve to win, like both of you, you fucking kick ass because you got the balls to say what you mean. You were wrong because you didn't get the joke. And maybe I didn't say it right enough for you to understand. We both we both learned something today. But I think I think you're awesome for existing to say that the way you said it. And to you, I totally appreciate you saying you appreciate that I finally won. That really does mean a lot to me. But to the faggot that said I was desperate for saying I like people who like me, suck a dick. Unless you're gay, then suck a cunt. And suck a really smelly tuna fish cunt that you deserve, because that's what you need. You need a smelly cunt on your face. Maybe maybe a, some period blood and some piss. Wash it down with. Because you can, you can just f fucking suck it. And, and you know what else you can do? You can. That's right. Suck a turd out of my ass and go fuck yourself with it. You specifically suck a dick. You know, go to hell. That being said, there's still a lot of people that I appreciate, and I mentioned who you were. And uh, I'm going to name drop some people who I haven't mentioned. Yasi, I, I, I think you should have made it. I really like you. I hope you do it again next year. I really want you to end this thing. I really like you. I want to work with you again. I support you. Uh, Matthew Cartagena, you are a cool-ass guy. You got balls. I love you, which is a desperate thing to say, but fuck it. I'm going to say it again. I want you to try this. Sorry, I just burped. I want you to try this shit again next year. I want you to make it. Uh, Danny, I want you to get better. I really want to laugh at your shit. After meeting you again this year, seeing you have the balls to stand up to me after what we've gone through together, I got a little bit more respect for you. Dare I say it, you're likable. You know? I might even want to add you on Facebook. I definitely want to keep in touch with you. I think, I think you could be a really cool guy, and I really want you to work on your comedy because I want you to be awesome. I really do. I really do. All the shit I'm saying right now, I'm saying from the heart. You know, nothing, none of this shit is prepared. I'm not even drunk. I'm just saying this shit because I mean it. Uh, Trong Trung, I don't know why you name dropped me. I don't know if you got some beef with me. You were, you were, you were harsh. Not to me, but for the sake of being harsh, it seemed like you were harsh. Um, you didn't ask my for my advice, so I'm not gonna give it. But I hope, I hope you find your groove, man. I really do. I hope you find that groove and work it so that in two years, if you didn't win, if you don't win next year, we can compete head on again and you're at your, you're at the top of your game, you know, because that's what I want. I want, I want all you motherfuckers to be the best you can be. And when I say motherfucker, I mean it with love. I really do. Uh, Dennis Pham, I swear to God, you should have made it. 
I wanted you to make it. I, I enjoy you. I really want to laugh at what you say. Some of it I do, some of it I don't. I want you to get better. I really like you. I think you're a good person in person. I like that, too. Um, who else can I name drop here? Uh, I think your name is Waylon. I think. I don't remember exactly, but the dude that's the sit-down comedian, you've done that joke like four times, and it hasn't worked since. Why would you try it at an audition? Now, I know you're probably throwing a mic right now, but don't get mad. And if you do get mad, use that. Use it in your material. Make it power. Make it work. Make it funny. But don't bitch out and throw the mic because you sucked. All right? I've sucked. Yeah, it makes me angry, but I take that. I step out with dignity as a performer. At least I try. I go back, I stew, I use it, and I make something out of it. And I, I come back hard, you know? So that's what you need to do. Don't get pissed and throw a mic because you sucked. Get pissed because you sucked and get better. Fucking do it. I want all you people to get better and come back and do this shit. Do it hard. Do it angry. Be good at it. And anyone talking shit about Gary or Nick or Masa, or, which is the same person as Nick, why did I say that? Uh, Andrew. These guys are working hard. So, if you want to talk, talk shit about them, ask them for a staff position. Ask them to share some of the workload. Just to see what it's like and see if the shit, shit talking is worth it. You know, maybe you don't like them because they talk shit about people during auditions. And yeah, they do. I'm probably going to do it too. You know, but that's because I'm a, I am a dick. But they don't talk shit about people who suck. You know, when you suck, they're, they just point it out. They ha they're within the right. They're... I mean, no one gets mad at the hecklers, apparently, but when the judges heckle, heckle, oh, fuck, fuck those guys. They're, you know what, there's certain, there's such a thing as being a professional audience, you know, that exists, and some people aren't professional audience members, nobody gets mad at them, so don't get mad at the judge for fucking with a dumbass who doesn't know what he's doing. It's called earning the ropes, it's a trial by fire, we all go through it, we go, even the good ones go through it, you know, Fazio's gone through it. I've worked with Fazio, a good comedian, at bad shows, and he's still fucking good. He rolls with it, he gets better, that's what makes him good. You know, I roll with it, whether I get better or not, I still try, and I'm still trying. Whether I'm good or not, I'm fucking trying, and that's what you need to do. Don't sit on your ass, pissed because your butthole's bleeding because you've been fucked in the ass too much. You know, get a, get a diaper, or get some, uh antiseptic and some toilet paper clean that shit up let it heal and come back and be and be the be better than what you were all right so that's all i got to say i'm fucking happy i won i'm happy that i'm gonna do the lcs next year i'm gonna be a judge and i'm gonna have a set pointing everything that i got to say out and you know for the haters who say i don't say enough anime don't worry i got shit to say about anime next year you're gonna fucking hear all of it so for those for those who i love out there who I mentioned, I love you so much. I really do. And I'm doing this for you, and I'm gonna keep doing this for you. For those who hate me, I love you. You know why? Because you hate me. Because your hate drives me to get better. And I need it. And I'm gonna fucking prove all you fucking shitheads wrong, whether you know it or not. And, uh, I guess that's it. Good night.